Whoa, how big did you say it was? That is a huge one. Unbelievable. Yes, folks, today I need you to subscribe. Just touch it below and say you support Br'er Caleb. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I know you got it. All you have to do is press that little button, subscribe, and there goes the bell. Thank you. Awesome. We'll see you soon. It is amazing when using a computer, you can do so much. But did you know that the computer can tell you an awful lot more? Now, it's a pleasure to be here in Las Vegas to present to you. Now, I get invited to do keynotes across the globe. And while it's easy for me to be here in Las Vegas, it isn't always easy for me to travel across the world. And even when I do, I can't always speak the local language. Well, what if neither language nor distance mattered for me to deliver a fantastic keynote? What if technology could help me be anywhere I needed to be and speak any language I wanted? Well, it can. We are bringing together the power of mixed reality Now, so far, some of you might be impressed and some of you say, whoopee do, what is this guy talking about? I am so excited that I discovered how a hologram works. You know, a hologram is exactly what you and I are facing daily. We have something that we sense. We don't know what it is. And for some strange reason, women have that stronger than men, or at least in my experience. Uh, when I came home after my father remarried, my stepmother had that weird sense that when she woke up or she just said all of a sudden, oh, something happened in Indonesia, anti so-and-so died. You know, what in the world? What's she talking about? And the next day, because in those days, this, this was in the early... I was, yeah, 60s, uh, 63, 62, 63. She got a phone call and it got confirmed. To create a truly game-changing experience. What you're about to see is an exact hologram of me wearing the same outfit that we recently captured at a mixed reality studio. So first, I'm gonna put on my HoloLens 2 here and then we'll flip in the room to the special camera so you can see exactly what I'm seeing. Let's get started. First, let me introduce you to Mini-Me. There she is, my perfect holograph. And thanks to the power of HoloLens 2, she just floats right with me. I'm literally holding my hologram, so natural. Now she's a little small to do a keynote. So let's get her up so she can do full-size Japanese keynote. Render keynote. Wow, the public is amazed. What in the world is happening? これはニューラルテキスト読み上げと呼ばれる最新の人工知能技術、いわゆるニューラルTTSを使用しています。私たちは自分の声の録音を使用し、私の読み聞こえる私自身の個人的な音声署名を作成します。日本語からフランス語、
when I got married, and I must admit that was not sometimes, actually always, because I'm a big boy now, and I can admit who I am. I was a sucker. If there was a deal to be made, I tried to make that deal. But my wife, at that time, had no business experience. But she had something that was way more valuable. She had that instinct. She felt if something was right. And as she noticed to me, mentioned to me, she said, Bob, are you sure? I said, honey, come on. You don't know what you're talking about. Uh-oh. That was the first 75 grand. Years later in Canada, a transaction that I finally um, made, I helped a guy, he got into trouble with cars, we set up cheaper rental car, wonderful scenario, everything went smooth, we found, I made a proposal, we found an investor, he put the money in there, and then when it came down to really paying out, the investor was also a person who was totally controlled by money. so. At that time, a comma in the middle of a sentence cost me $345,000. Now, you would say, by now, I've learned my lesson. Because my wife asked me, are you sure you're going to deal with this individual? I don't feel comfortable. See, again, I got a warning, but the deal was so good because I had established the deal. I set up cheaper rental car. We set up the cars, etc., 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 and it was going to be fantastic who saw that as well, that it was a great deal, is the owner that I got out of the trouble because he was facing time with police and some other confinements he didn't like. The investor and the spirit of the money. You see, you deal and we all deal with another aspect in our life. When I touch this, this is flesh. This, I can poke, I can poke in my eye and I will hurt. I can mm, bite on my fingers. And you know, it hurts. But if the spirit tells us something through your wife or through somebody else or something else or we're reading the word of God, we don't listen. Because we... My old mighty mind, the businessman, knows what he's doing. And then another time, a third time. And you say, how often does it have to happen before you listen? Well, remember, my profession is being stubborn. For some reason, I belong to the club. I don't know why. I can understand people that have a determination, that want to go places, that are determined to finish what they started because that's the way I was raised. See, I was not raised in a normal home. My mom died when I was only six years old, so I was raised in an orphanage. And an orphanage meant whatever books you could get your hands on, I read, because I was working and helping with the other kids, trying to keep harmony in the orphanage. And when I finally got on my own, it was not voluntarily because I was kicked out of the house. I was not used to being in a home so when my father remarried, I got <laughs> rebellious like so many other people. And then when I got in, involved with the Jesus movement that was very popular at that time, my father had a hard time believing that I was really changed. So very soon I got kicked out and I slept on the street. It was not funny in the middle of the winter. Very cold till I found a place and eventually got everything in order. So from the street, the little street, sleeping on the street on a an, an little cellmate you know, piece of wood over me so that the rain and the snow at least wouldn't hit me. And the cold, you try to get some papers, newspapers, till working on Wall Street was a big jump. And some people would say, wow, that is fantastic. It meant nothing in reality. When you read my book, Deception Protocol for the Prodigal Son, you will understand that that was also a step in my life. So the third time when my wife mentioned to me, I don't like that person. I had a hard time understanding what she was saying because that person had all her degrees. She was whatever I needed to have in our corporation. Her husband was involved. He had the degrees that we needed. And so based on those degrees and papers, we could take some action. 
the action that they took, the people with the degrees, was cleaning my company out. My company was doing very well. We had raised in a very short time lots of money. We were worth billions of dollars. And all of a sudden, hundreds of millions of dollars. Yes, folks, hundreds of thousands of dollars. And then gradually everything followed because I did not pay attention. And that attention has kept me busy for a very long time. Because in court, we were for 18 years fighting a system. I couldn't lay my hands on. I'm very quick. I can learn fast. I can absorb things fast. But you know what is amazing? I was not fast enough. I was always one step behind. Somewhere, somehow, I was dealing with a spiritual realm that I could not grab or got a hold on. Till I finally saw the solution. Yesterday, I found the hologram. The hologram is exactly what I was. And most likely you are, because if you're watching, you're wondering most likely too. What is wrong with me? Why am I doing things and I'm doing them well? I get rewarded for it. I get my papers for it, but I am not getting anywhere. See, the hologram is basically, I have a physical me. There is something that most people can understand. When you pinch yourself, you hurt. When you get a fist against your eye, you have a black eye. So then you go to your favorite butcher store and you get a piece of meat. Put the raw meat on your eye and hopefully that will help to ease the pain. If you get hit by a fellow that I got to know when I was in jail, he was my cellmate. He was the enforcer for the Hells Angels and had done a few things that I don't want to talk about it. He passed away now, but we shared a cell for five months and the stories, the horror stories, how you could kill someone, how you could do this, how you could do that. All you had to do is this and you can kill people in many ways, but there's one thing you cannot kill that is spirit that lives within you. And there is a connection. What I do here, if I punch, it has an effect. If I treat people in a certain way, it has an effect. It is called the restorative justice. We have for every action is a reaction. We have heard that before, wonderful, but it doesn't mean anything because we cannot relate it to ourselves. Anything that's not related to you usually goes, you know, passed by you. How do I know that? Because that happens to me too. So how do we get the understanding where there is something outside of us? Let's take a look again. So first I'm going to put on my HoloLens 2 here and then we'll flip in the room to the special camera so you can see exactly what I'm seeing. Let's get started. First, let me introduce you to Mini-Me. There she is my perfect holograph. And thanks to the power of HoloLens 2, she just floats right with me. I'm literally holding my hologram, so natural. Now she's a little small to do a keynote. So let's get her up so she can do full-size Japanese keynote. Render keynote.